Well, the stewards were busy after the fourth race here today, Division 1 of the Fexco Asset Finance Handicap Hurdle. And number six, Duffy's Hody, was the subject of a running and riding inquiry. Trainer Philip Rothwell is with us now. Philip, just to flesh this out for us, we're just getting the details now, but essentially is the case that you've been found guilty of using the race course as a training ground? Yes, it's um, it's uh, of rider not making, um, I think, his maximum effort to obtain his best possible place. Um, so, um, yeah, we, we were found guilty. Um, uh, I suppose, thankfully, we got the minimum um, fines and uh, penalties because uh, both Adam had never um, been in a running and riding inquiry, not in 1,500 rides, and um, I've never been found guilty ever before in three or 4,000 runners. Um, so uh, this horse actually was the... Um, was involved in a running and riding inquiry before with a kid that uh, worked in the yard having his first ride, uh, dropped in and stayed on and ran well, and he was suspended for 45 days. Um, we rode him more prominent in a race, James did, who works with me in a race in Galway the last day, and he didn't quite get home. So first run in a handicap today, he was dropped in and stayed on, uh, which is definitely the right way to ride him going forward and will always do it. However, he hung very bad to the, to the right, he, um, at, at his hurdles, he jumped very bad, sorry, to the left. He, he hung to the left and jumped to the left, and at the last, he nearly fell over, jumping so bad to the left. He came back in, missing a shoe. Um, that was reported. It was reported that he hung. Um, uh, Michael Walsh, uh, our race course, uh, he'd be uh, Cork's race course farrier, um, seen him down in the yard and agreed he was tender on his foot. Um, uh, but the turf club vet found him to be okay, and um, they find me 2,000 euros, the horse got 60 days and Adam has got 10 days. I just mesmerised, I can't believe it to be honest with you Gary. Um, uh, in my mind, and I stressed it, like uh, halfway up the back I was concerned should Adam stay going. Like if, if, if one of my other riders who knew the horse, it was questionable whether he should stay going, he was jumping left um, if he found, fe felt him to be on sound or hanging. Um, but, but definitely um, with a horse that is leaning and jumping left, uh, he rode him from a half a mile out. I just, I'm mesmerised. I can't believe that this... this I'm, I'm assuming when you're in the stewards room there, you've seen the replays from all the angles, yeah. relevant angles. I mean, can you even see why the, they felt you might have a case to answer I, with I, the I, horse? I, I actually did. When I went in, um, when I, I seen he stayed on. And when when I went in, I, like, um, I, it's very hard to see here from the stands. But when I watched it on TV, I thought I didn't really know why I was there at all. And then when Adam gave the um, evidence coming back in or had told me coming back in off the track that he hung left and, and jumped left, um, I was very surprised because he's never done that before. Um, so I immediately had a look at him and I could see that he was feely and that he uh, was missing a shoe. Um, I brought him down. Uh, the farrier agreed, or our farrier, Michael Walsh, agreed. And uh, Turf Club Vet, I obviously had runners in the next race, so I went to attend them. Turf Club Vet found him to be normal. I, I don't know how a horse that's tender and missing a hind shoe can be post-race normal. But so are we, are we essentially dealing with a difference of professional opinion here? Well, You've had your farrier yeah, look at the horse. Yeah, the, far the farrier looked at the horse. Question. I, but I not, look, at, I'm not going to question uh, the, vet is, the vets are very good. There's no issue that way. I just can't understand how with, uh, with a report that the horse hung left, jumped left, and has came back in, in my mind, not 100% sound, in a farrier's mind, not 100% sound, and missing a shoe, how you should even be in that position of a running and riding inquiry. I thought, if anything, maybe Adam should have got a warning for not pulling the horse up a half a mile out, but he didn't know the horse. Um, he was riding him, it was a 10 winners race. He wasn't familiar with them. I totally get that. I wouldn't give out to him for it. I'd definitely support him in the future. But he rode him, he rode him out from a half a mile out. He actually pushed him out for a half a mile out on a horse that he was told going out would struggle to stay. Um, think. I, I, I just mesmerised, to be honest. Okay, and the way I mean, you're talking there, I presume you've had a chat with the owners and appeal would sound very I, look likely. At, I, I'm part of a syndicate involved in a couple of horses myself, and he's one of them, and like, I, I'll definitely appeal it, 100% appeal it, and I suppose that's what the appeal, appeals process is there for. I, it'll be my third appeal in the last number of months, and I don't want to be in this position. Um, like at this stage, um, I, I won an appeal, I lost an appeal. I found the, the appeal I lost was a welfare issue over a horse in my mind as well. I didn't run him until the ground softened. Um, rules changed three days after my last appeal, which would have suggested that I 
should have been successful in it too, in my mind. Um, it's just very, very disappointing to be back in this position all over again. Um, if we were doing something that I believed I shouldn't have been doing, I wouldn't feel so strong about it. But, like, a horse was pushed out and, uh, and as I say, he's not even sound. So, so like, how, how can a horse that's missing the shoe hang left, jump left, obvious to see it, um, like, when that evidence is given, how can that horse get a 60-day ban? It's just beyond, I just, I'm mesmerised. We'll obviously see what happens when the appeal comes round. We've got to go, Philip, a race coming yeah, up here, but you are you much. confident you'll have a fair hearing in the appeal based on previous evidence? Um, look at them, um, I, I'm sure uh, the appeals are fair. If they're, not, if they're not being heard as fair, what's the point in having a licence in the country? That's what the IHRB, that's what the appeals are for. I didn't agree with the result of the last appeal, but like you would certainly hope that you would get a fair hearing. Okay, we shall see what happens in Thank due course. Philip, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.